messages exported from Jennifer Crumley's phone. Have you found, have you seen that in the past? Yes, sir, I have. Okay, and how did you come to see that? Uh, from the phone extraction. Okay, and you extracted the information and you reviewed those messages? Correct, yes. People moved to admit 82. Any objections to 82? I'm sorry. Remember 82 that. is a text message between Shooter and Jennifer Pages 105 106 dated March 9, 2021. Yeah, I, um, I believe that the court, I've previously Previous said that, that, thank you. that I had it rolled on. Correct, it's preserved. Um, thank you. Sir, I'm going to publish that to the jury. There's multiple slides in there. You can look at the screen. So this information is from um, Jennifer's original phone. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And so People's 82, we have multiple slides here. The blue is the defendant's son. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And what is he writing at March 9, 2021 at 7.50 in the evening? Uh, he's asking uh, if Jennifer could come home. Uh, there's someone in the house, I think. Okay. And what's the, the next uh, text he writes? Uh, it's, he, the third one says, someone walked into the bathroom and flushed the toilet and left the light on. Okay, that's March 9, 2021 at 7.50? Correct, yes, sir. Okay, and then March 9th, 7.50 and 52 seconds, what is it read? And I thought it was you, but when I came out, no one was home. And then he writes, there's no one in the house, though? Correct. Dude, my door just slammed. That's at 8 p.m.? Yes. Maybe it's just my paranoia. That's at 8.01 p.m., March the 9th. Yes. Okay. And then this is 8.01 p.m. text to his mother, the defendant, but when are you going to get home? And when was the next text response in the uh, phone download that you recovered? The next response was the following day on March 10th, where she said, where's your dad? At 10 a.m., 10.21 a.m. May I approach the witness? Sure. This is People's Proposed Exhibit 83. Sir, take a look at that and tell me if you recognize the this hand you. Yes, sir. And how do you recognize that? It's an extraction report uh, in a PDF format of a call log from a, a cell phone. Okay, and that call log specifically was recovered on the shooter's phone? Correct. Okay, and this is from March of 9, 2021 to March of 20, 2021. That's on the last page? Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. People move to admits 83. And I have no objection to that. 83 is admitted? So the slide I'm going to show you is it's a snippet of that. We're going to go back to Exhibit 83 throughout your testimony. Okay. Specifically, because we're talking about March the 9th right now. March the 9th, 2021, the phone call to either his mom or dad <laughs> to his father, James Crumbly, it was a missed call at 7.31 a.m. Is that right? That's correct, yes. And um, his mom called him at 8.38 p.m., March the 9th. I'm sorry, March the 10th. Correct, on the 10th. Okay, so the time those text messages were being sent to his mother, there were no phone calls or texts back in that relevant time period. Correct. Now, I'm going to back up a day to March the 8th to give this context. May I approach some minutes? Sure. This is People's Proposed Exhibit 84. <clears throat> Sir, 84 is a, the portion of the Facebook thread between James and Jennifer Crumley, pages 386 to 388 from March the 8th of 21. Is that right? Correct. And you've seen this before? Yes, sir. People move to admit 84. Uh, no objection, Your Honor. 84 is admitted. Okay. So I'll direct your attention to the screen. This is blue again is Jennifer, green is James. Is that right? Correct. Okay, and that's because... This chat specifically was deleted from Jennifer's phone. That's correct, it was. Okay. So, Jennifer's words, Ethan going to bowling. And what is James write? IDK. I, I don't know. Okay. And she writes, what do you mean, IDK? His response? I don't know exactly what I said. We'll know after he gets home. Okay. And Jennifer wrote, does he have his phone? Why isn't he home yet? He should be home now. By now. That's March 8th, 21 at 3 12 p.m.? That's correct. Okay. Then she writes, freaking out. And James's response, 
He does not get home until 3.16. Okay. And then Jennifer wrote, I told you to pick him up because he's upset and I don't want him to do anything stupid, goddammit. Correct. That's March 8th, 21, 3.13 p.m.? That's correct. Okay. And James writes, dude, chill, he is fine and trying to fucking work. That's correct, he did. Okay. So for context, this is the day before those text messages were sent by the defendant's son to the defendant. Correct. I want to move on to March the 17th of 2021. May I approach the witness? Sure. This is People's Proposed 85. <laughs> Sir, 85 is the Facebook thread between James and Jennifer Crumbly, pages 432 to 435 from March 17th. Do you recognize that? Yes, sir. And how do you recognize it? Again, it's a printout of a um, Facebook chat. Okay. And you, of course, seen that before? Yes, sir. Because you were the one to pull the information? Correct, yes, sir. What number? 85. 85. People moved to mid-85. Your Honor, I, I'm trying to pull it up right now. Okay, sure. It's hard for me to determine from this list um, Your Honor, which I exhibits believe... have been subject to um, previous rulings, just so you know. Thank you, Judge. Your Honor, um... I do object to 80, 84 because there's portions of it that, that don't need, are not admissible, in my opinion. 84 I'm sorry, 85. I'm sorry, 85. There are portions of 85 that the defense objects to, and they have not been previously ruled upon by the court. May we approach? Um, yes. 